from all 51 here uh, don't don't adjust your uh, sets here um, we are I have we are upside down um, working on an international 215 an early well mid production probably 215 plow uh, judging by the decals so um, what I'm doing here is if you can see see there's a little arrow on this nut and this is a I think they call it like a cam cam bolt or something I'll put one in the description and show you but what I'm adjusting this plow for plow days and if you well it's hard to tell but this one here this one here is set aggressive as you can see it's pitched it plows upside down so you'll have to adjust uh, bear with me here but it it is uh it's set aggressive and this plow here i have set it from aggressive to normal um and let's see and you can see here on this i ain't got the video ready for this plow yet but this here so you put the arrow in the down position for normal and in the up position for penetrate and there's a little cam i'll put a picture of the bolt in there what it looks like i'm not taking this thing back out as hard as it was but the bolt is actually on this side and there's a little piece of it that's um, a little nub that sticks out this far and there's a slot an oval slot in here and so what you do is to make it more aggressive see i've set it back into in the this would actually be pointing down if the plow were turned upright um, so that would be in the normal position so what you do is if you want the uh, Want more of an aggressive cut you take this cam and turn it over you, you pull it out and turn it over and what that does it'll pivot on these two bolts right here these two bolts here mount the plow bottom if you can see here and I'll probably do a little better video so this bolt here this bolt here and this bolt here this is the cam let's see this is the cam bolt here and these two here this is what mounts it to the to the plow beam and like i say here they are and then there's the cam bolt so it these here have a little bit of play in them this one doesn't this one is this is what it pivots on this one has a little bit of play in it so when you you have to loosen all three like i say pull that one out just about an inch pivot the bottom whichever way you want to go and then put the cam bolt back in and then tighten these two here and back down and the cam bolt so that's what I'm doing now. Um, there's no sense in having it aggressive like that. Um, just more unnecessary wear for um, for the tractor. So you'll constantly be fighting it to dig deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's going to, and it's especially if you have the deep suck shares on here, which I, I think these are the regular rock shares. But anyway, yeah, we're doing some maintenance, and uh, we got the colders to put on it mount them up here and then the other one will go right here we'll try to have some colders anyway i don't know what kind of land we'll be in um how bad it'll be or how trashy or whatever to be so but anyway this is a plow picked up with the the 67 140 it's not sprung i checked a lot of times you'll have to watch on these these this is a trip beam version i think there's three different versions of this plow there's the trip beam which was the more expensive and then they had a the second one was the trip beam, but it had a shear bolt in here. I forgot where it's somewhere in here. The shear bolt, I think, right back here is where the shear bolt. So when you would hit something, it would shear that pin, and you would have to put your new pin in there and get it trip, get it trip back, and put your new pin in. This one here, you back up, and it'll click back into place. And then it had a rigid beam in this style here. So it had this style of, of beam that went and connected to here. So um, I've only seen one or two of those before, um, even though I'm sure they, they were a cheaper option. But I've still, you know, most of the time you see these trip, trip bottoms here. And if you had a rigid beam plow, you were supposed to have the spring mount on the fast hit. So, all right, but that's just a little bit on the 
doing some plow maintenance here and um these chairs here they're they're wore down quite a bit as you can see and they're a little rusty it's been sitting in the dirt for quite a few years but it'll be fine i'll uh they'll shine right up here for long and uh my heel back here is in good shape um let's say get the colder zone get, i may after this plow day i'll probably change these out um i've got some case ih new case ih uh shares and i'll probably put a um i probably won't place a uh, mold board yet but but anyway that's that so that's how you adjust the uh aggressive or normal um cutting for the plow so and i guess if you got a big enough tractor to pull it but 140 um 214s i think is what this is this may be 212s so this is a this is here's a 12 inch bottom as you can see this is how you measure the check your 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 width here this is your cutting width it's 12 inch bottom so this has got the 212s on it Anyway, that's it. Um, like I said, that's how you do is you take that cam bolt out and get those other two bolts free. Rotate, put it in the down position for normal, which would cause it to pitch forward a little, pitch, um, pitch down a little bit. And then if you want to cut more aggressive, you can turn the cam bolt the other way and make it in into the up position and it will cause it to cut more aggressive, which would, which in the up position and it'll cause it to turn down more which would put that point in the ground and make it cut more aggressive so but anyway um i know it's probably not the best explanation but um i'm tired i'm ready to go home and uh this is it so i'm just doing a little plow maintenance for the plow day saturday so march 25th all right thanks for watching